Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Speed Demon series on Forza Horizon 3. Today, as you probably have seen from the title or the thumbnail, we are actually taking out the Lamborghini Centauron. I think that's how you say it, Centuron, Centauron. Well, I'm not good with that, but anyway. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's on the screen right now. Um, it is completely stock right now, so let's have a little bit look around the car. I like this uh, Forza Vista thingy. But uh, we'll press explode so everything pops up in the back. Doesn't actually open. Does it? No. Alright, we just get rid of it. <laughs> what? <laughs> but look at that motor. Honestly. That's V12. I just saw the sticker, so... <laughs> uh, I, I didn't even know this car existed until the start of Forza, so... Yeah, let's uh, get into the tuning and see how fast it goes down uh, Redstone. Alright, so first off, as always, we go to the conversion just to see what we can change. Oh, no, nah, I'll keep it all drive just because all drive tends to go take off the line quicker, which means we get to that top speed a little bit quicker. Uh, we will chuck a twin turbo. I thought there might have been a twin turbo already in this car since it uh, looks like the handle god. But, uh, yeah, I guess not. Our front bumper, that'll be just that little racing hook thing. Yes, it is. With a few fins as well. Makes it look like a full-blown shark at the front of that. Uh, what? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do I want to put that on? Yeah, I'll put it on for some downforce down the straight. It is adjustable, so... Hopefully we can adjust some tuning to that spoiler. Alright, tyre compound. Right, looks like there's only one choice, which is a rally, so we'll stay with the stock tyres. Our front tyre width, we'll go with the thickest. Why not? It's always good to have some thick tyres. Is there any room for that? There's, like, no room for me to extend the tyres. Oh, I found room somewhere. Alright. Lamborghini. Nah. Uh, we shall go multi-piece rim style. Let's see what's in this category. Ooh. ooh. Yeah, plus six. Nah, we can't take... We, can, we need to find a rim that reduces weight, not adds weight. Because... I know it's not that much, six kilos, but... Every kilogram counts when you're trying to make the fastest car to go down the runway. Why is everything adding weight? Where's all the light rims? Are you taking a piss? Maybe sport rims. Are you taking a piss? How light were those rims? The Centauron Centurion rims. Oh. Mmm. Nah. I'm actually going to put them on for three and a half. Three seven, not three and a half. Uh, we'll paint those black because <laughs> why not? <laughs> you can't change the back rim. Like, size. Only the front. For some weird reason. Oh, well, we don't need the back rim anyway. It looks pretty large as is. We'll do the clutch. Race clutch. Pretty much just max the shit out of this car. Um, race transmission drive line that'll bring about 9.1 kilograms off hopefully I can get some uh, a lot of 10s in the ratings of uh, handling brakes acceleration launch and speed right now we're down to the handling mods so oh, no mate nah Low to the ground. Alright. A roll cage. I don't think so. You don't put freaking roll cages in Lamborghinis. <sighs> oh, X-Class. That's the first X-Class car we are going to race on this series. Not race. Just drive in a straight line, pretty much. So, we've got three tens in acceleration, launch, and braking so far. Hopefully, the handling... 
or speed can reach up. I don't think the handling is going to go much more than 9.3. Um, hopefully speed will jump up to about a 10. I don't know why handling is going up when I'm upgrading engine parts, but uh, yeah. Like what? Put better valves in, better handling. GG Forza. Hopefully, one of the speed just boosts up to like freaking ten right now. But no, what? Ooh, race twin turbo. Yep. You gotta have the race twin turbo. Why not? Power. Legit. In the words of Jeremy Clarkson. Need speed and power. <laughs> All right, that's 67k. I was actually going to buy this car on the uh, auction market, just because, well, I'm cheap. But everything on the auction market was more than what I would have paid if I was to pay the 2.3 mil on the normal brand new car store, as well as mod it. So I would have been paying like 2.5 mil instead of 2.3 with 67,000 worth of upgrade. So, I think we did good. We'll just uh, give it some paint. Why not? Make it look slick. Is that carbon fiber? Yes, it is. What color? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Special color. You know what? Oh, you know what? I'm actually going to do that. Spy shot swirls. And then I'm going to put some carbon fiber. Just because I'm a prick. It's like the car's in development and they just don't want pictures taken of it. This car does not have a wing. I put a wing on there. Brov. All right, Windows. Save to current car. All right, so it looks like we have made a beast of a car. Hopefully, well, if it doesn't beat the Jag in last episode, there's some serious problems happening at Lamborghini since I have modded the shit out of this car already. So the mods plus the stock car... We should be able to get over the line. We should be running about a 24 second, maybe a 23 if we're lucky. But yeah, I hope we do. So, I'll see you on the runway. Alright, so we're at the runway now. I just did a little bit of tweaking of the gears just so we the actual top speed wasn't 419. But it was reading at about a 429. So, hopefully we get about a 23 second all right so we'll have a countdown of uh three two one go so that was a pretty fast 100 it's looking good so far we are approaching 300 there's 300 i wish these cars would not be on the runway while i'm trying to test shit but uh what can we do there is 400 this car's moving. This car is actually moving. Oh, shit! All right, so currently at the moment, we only have one car on the leaderboard, which is the 2015 Jaguar. It did the Redstone Airport in 32 seconds and 18 milliseconds, but the Centurion actually did it in 24 seconds and 24.05 which means that is the new number one. There is only two cars, but as time progresses, we will fill up those 10 spots and hopefully you like this series. So if you did like this series and you want to see more of it, make sure to leave a big thumbs up. If you didn't like it, let me know why in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.